Eric Hartford has done it again. This time it is Dolphin 2.8 Mistral 7 billion version 02. If you have been following my channel for some time, you might have noticed that I have covered a lot of models created by Eric Hartford and every model he creates is of supreme quality. In this video, we are going to install this new model Dolphin 2.8 Mistral on our local Windows system and then we will be testing it out its various capabilities. Before we do that, let me go through the introduction of this model. This model is based on Mistral 7 billion version 2 and I already have covered Mistral 7 billion version 2 base model released by Mistral AI on 23rd of March this year. Now the base model has 32k context and the full weight fine tune was with 16k sequence length. Also for this Dolphin Mistral model it took Eric 3 days on 10 L40S CPUs provided by Crusoe Cloud and Dolphin 2.8 has a variety of instruction, conversational and coding skills capabilities and that is what we are going to test out in this video. So let's first get it installed on our local system and then we will play around with it. The tool which I am going to use for this purpose is my trusted LM Studio. So let's go to LM Studio, remove this and then let's grab the, grab the name of this model from here. Then go to LM Studio, just paste it here, the center and you will see that there are already few of the quantized version done by few people. So thank you to them too. On the right hand side you can select the quantized level as per your resources. I already have downloaded the maximum Q81 available. I have one GPU of around 16 GB of VRAM and my memory is 32 GB so I should be good hopefully. Then let's go to these three dots on the left hand side and from the middle let's load the Dolphin 2.8 Mistral version 2 model. And you can keep eye on the resource usage on the top left. Let's wait for it to load. That is done. Let's make it a bit bigger. On the right hand side, let's do the GPU offload to max and then reload the model. And then we are going to test its capabilities. And as the model card says that it has three capabilities, instruction, coding and conversational. So let's check it out one by one. First, let's check out the instructional capabilities. So first I am going to give it an instruction that write step-by-step -step instructions for baking a classic chocolate cake, ensuring clarity and precision in each step. Let me press enter. Let's wait for it to finish and then we will review the response. There you go. So we have our response and you can see the step-by-step -step instruction. The step one is gathering ingredients and equipment. It is giving us all the ingredients look fine. And then also the equipment that spatula, bowls, baking pan, Prepare the baking pan with all the temperatures and very minute detail that line the bottom of 9 into 3 inch baking pan. Amazing stuff. And then it is saying mix dry ingredients, combine wet ingredients and then add mixture, boiling water and all the steps are there. And look at the detail. And then it is says once the cake is fully cooled, remove it from the pan enjoy your delicious homemade chocolate cake how good is that wow okay let's ask it another question now this instruction when i'm asking it create a tutorial for beginners how to knit a basic scarf including necessary material stitches and techniques let's press enter let's wait for it to complete and then we will review it okay so let's see how to knit the scarf introduction it is uh, I think this answer is even better than the previous one. Knitting is an enjoyable craft that not only keeps your hands busy but also provides with cozy handmade accessories. Wow. Now materials needed. So all the material it is specifying yarn, needle and all that stuff. Stitch types. This is amazing. So there are two types of basic stitches in this project. Knit stitch and cast on stitch. Wow. And then knitting your basic scarf. How good is that? And then cast on knit row continue knitting rows and then it just all the steps are there and weaving in ends and finishing touches and then it is just explaining it at the end 
how good is that so it is just following that principle that tell your readers what you are going to tell them then tell them and then tell them what you have just told them amazing stuff really really impressive let's ask it one more so now i'm asking it the instruction one develop a guide for assembling a piece of ikea furniture breaking down the process into clear easy to follow steps okay let's see how easy it is to assemble this swedish furniture from ikea assembling ikea furniture can be an intimidating task for some people but it doesn't have to be wow with this guide and that it is guide, uh, giving the guide around unpacking an inventory that is good stuff you need to know what exactly is there all the bolts and nuts are there identify and organize attach hardware begin assembling final assembly check for stability clean up and then it is giving you the summary of it how good is that okay let's ask it a bit of conversational capability so i'm asking it role play a customer service scenario where you interact with ai as a frustrated customer seeking assistance with the product or service issue let's see so now ai is doing the role play interact with ai as a very nice a is doing its role play automatically i just want my money back let's see what model does so it is not arguing with me It is apologizing very polite we also want want some sort of compensation for my trouble and hassle. let's see what ai does here it is also giving me 20 percent discount I want 100% discount. That is good. So it is not really just accepting everything customer is saying. Okay, so 50% discount. Oh, wow. Let me be more cheap. So, can you make it? 80% let's see if it wow 70% <laughs> okay that is good wow I want to shop at that store okay. let me tease a model a bit can you make it 76% Yeah, so I'm not asking for full refund. Let's see what happens now. Wow, there you go. I asked for 76. Models is giving me 80% discount, which I asked for it early on. But this is the highest one. Yeah. Can you also give your roses? Goodwill gestures. Afghani. Anyway, so I'm not going to be more mean here. I think model is very, very polite and nice. Now, let's also try out one of the coding one. But you can see that you can play around with this model as much as you want if you have nothing else better to do in your life. So let's see. I'm asking you challenge AI to write a function that checks if a given string is palindrome in Python, considering both case sensitive and case insensitive scenarios. Let's see what model does. The model has produced a code and you can see that it is a typical Pythonic way of doing it. So it is just going through defining the palindrome. And then from there, it is uh, reversing the lower case text and then returning it. And then it also has given us the synopsis of the code. 
plus few examples as how we can run it very nice so i believe that on all those three fronts the model has passed with flying colors as usual i was expecting the quality from eric's model and it has delivered it that's it guys i hope that you enjoyed it let me know your thoughts what do you think about this dolphin 2.8 mistral 7 billion and if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you're already subscribed then please share it among your network as it helps thank you very much